upgrade and a 16 gigabyte RAM upgrade on my 13 inch MacBook Pro. So here we go. So first thing, first things first is you take all the screws out along the edge. There's 11 of them. So take them out with a Phillips double zero screwdriver. I did it already so I could speed up the video. So when you open up your computer, you'll see it, it will look like this. Your RAM is right here. And your hard drive is all the way over here. All the way. Sorry for the bad camera angle. I'll pick you guys up. So here's your RAM. Right here. And here's the hard drive. First, uh, first things first is... Here is a Phillips double zero screwdriver. I'm not sure if you guys can see that, but okay. So, first things first, you start off right here. Right there. There's a screw right there. It's a Phillips double zero. have to remove it fully. Then there's another one right here. Right there. Oh, I should mention this is only, or this is on the 2011 and 20, mid 2011 13 inch with i7. So you take it out. So you leave the screws in. It comes with a bracket like this. I have to go get the hard drive. But I'm swapping. Here is the new hard drive. It is a Samsung Focus. Well, it's a Samsung Momentus. So you put that off to the side. There's this little tab here. You lift that up. And then the ribbon cable is connected. Right there. That's the ribbon cable. Be careful when you're doing this. Don't want to break the ribbon cable, so you pull that out. Then on the hard drive, right here, these are Torx T6 screwdriver or bits. So you get grab your Torx T6 screwdriver. You grab the T6, then you unscrew all four of them. Put them, I put them on, onto the drive immediately after I remove it. So you take that little screw and you put it in the new hard drive and you screw it in. Make sure it's nice and tight. Then continue on with the rest of that. Once you get all four of them unscrewed, you start putting the hard or you put the hard drive back in. So let me finish these off. Oh yeah, um, before you put the hard drive back in, I, I should have said this earlier. You should take the tab. Keep like a little, like little thing 
gerne vil vide, at der ikke er for skidt. Lidt bolder til, hvor I kan have det igen. Okay, now, so you see all the screws are put on the Samsung drive. There you can see Samsung Momentus. Okay, now, put that over there for a minute. You grab your this little tab here that you pull the hard drive off with. You take it off the hard drive. And you grab your new one, and you put it on the new one. Once you get it installed, you plug the ribbon cable in, just like so, and you put it in at an angle so those two little screws get put in, then you put that in. Once you have that down, you get your little black piece. Make sure these orange pieces, these orange ones, are facing you when you're reinstalling. So go. So grab your Phillips double zero screwdriver. Grab your bracket and reinstall. Then you have a bigger hard drive or an SSD, whichever you choose. I chose a one terabyte hard drive. then you can close it up to re-screw all the screws back in but if you're doing a RAM upgrade you have to take this out right here here, here just as a RAM and this is the stuff that we replace in it with Corsair Vengeance 16 Gigabyte and right about now you guys are just saying oh my god spelling what the fuck you don't need 16 gigs of RAM well, that's true, it is overkill for some people, but when I, I am rendering videos and all that, I usually, it usually eats up my RAM, I only have 8 gigs installed. Well, this, the 8 gigs came from Apple. So, you open up your RAM, Corsair is nice enough to give you a package of back vengeance, and there's the vengeance. Okay, so, first things first, you go... There's these two little like tabs on the side. You push them out, and the ramps to So once you have that, you pull the ramp stick off, put it in the little case that Corsair gave you. Do that again with the two prongs, or the two little like um, what, two little prongs or whatever. I don't know. Make sure you have enough room to grab them. There you go. Then you pull it out. Put it on the. Actually, no. Just put it on like a, the box that the Corsair gave you because you need to get the RAM sticks out. So, with the Vengeance. So you pop it out onto your pin. Never touch the pins. You go in there the very bottom. It's a little bit tricky with one hand. So you go there and to the bottom. You push it in. Don't be scared to give it a little force. So give it a little force once it's in. You can push down until you hear like a click or until it stays in place. second stick of RAM, put it in, or put it in this, like so, wait, I should say, put it, uh, I should say, with the max, with this, well, uh, with mine at least, you don't put the vengeance like this, you don't put this side up, you have to put the side with the, like, the label and all that up, so you put that in. 
in there. And give it some force. And then you push down. And you then I usually put the bolt then back into the case. Be careful with this stuff because you might end up needing it again if the 16 gigs of RAM craps out on you. So you open up the box and then you stick it in. and you have the box with your old RAM in it and then you start putting the back panel on okay so you just start by start wherever you please you screw them in the remember these three longer screws, I can never find it, there it is, these three longer screws go up in the top three, so from that one to there. So put the three, so put the three long ones in. If you guys are saying, why didn't I put an SSD in this computer, it's because SSDs don't have that uh, the biggest SSD you can buy out on the market right now is a 512 gigabyte one, and I am upgrading from a 750 gigabyte one, so if I went to an SSD, I'd get fast speeds, but I wouldn't get enough space. Are you guys just, and some of you guys might be saying I could do either an SSD and a hard drive, or an SSD and then or two 512 SSDs. Yeah, I could do that, but those are that's expensive, and I don't have money right now. I just spent a hundred bucks on RAM and about fifty bucks on a hard drive. So I, today I spent a hundred and fifty bucks buying this stuff. So. Don't be yelling at me, don't be, don't be whining that I didn't put an SSD in, it's not my fault, I don't have the money. I'm out of money, and I'm happy with what I did, so, yeah. And SSDs to me are kind, are use, um, are a good choice, but they're just not my thing. I like, I, I'd like having an SSD or two in this, too expensive. Once you're done with that, you can put your screwdrivers away. Put your screwdrivers away and turn your computer over. I've already installed the OS on this hard, on this hard drive. Okay, so let that let that sit for a minute.
let's look at Apple speaker. Okay, I have to look back at my desktop. Got the nice car. Okay, now you go up to the Apple. Click about this Mac. And hopefully it read 16 gigs of RAM. Which it did. more info to prove that I have 16 gigs. I go to memory. It shows two eights. Now, now that that's done, you can enjoy 16 gigs of RAM. go on the site or if you want to buy like a case for your hard drive you can go to other world computing they have a couple um, memory express I don't know okay now once you have that amazon.com we have them so once you have that you install the SATA connection And that's pretty much it on the install of 16 gigs of RAM and one terabyte hard drive in a 13 inch MacBook Pro non retina display. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed and goodbye.